The new phoners were staking the success of their breakaway league on selling TV rights to live matches. And just as they were looking for broadcast partners, television was going through its own revolution. Programs beam from outer space the shape of television to come. In February, you'll be able to pick up programs from the Astra satellite. Now to do it, you'll need this. This is a dish, shallow curve there, made by Amstrad. Costs about 200 pounds on sale at Christmas. I remember it vividly. And the phone rang. Rupert Murdoch wanted to see me. To me, Rupert was a mystical figure. It was like following Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey, though, wearing glasses like the windscreen of a Ford Cortina. Rupert Murdoch was attempting to expand his media empire with the launch of a new network, Sky Television. Rupert Murdoch has officially launched his bid to win over Britain's television viewers. He plans four new satellite television channels. The man may own more newspapers and more television I mean, I've been a, a television news reporter for 40 years. But I was at that event um, when Murdoch launched Sky, and I remember um, rather nervously asking him, well, will the standards of journalism on Sky be the same as in your um, newspapers? Uh, fabrication and lies and obsession with people's uh, private lives. And everybody was absolutely stunned. <laughs> Is it going to be the same kind of standard of journalism as we see? It's going to be totally, spaces? it'll be totally different. I've told you it'll be absolutely first class. Thank you. There was huge scepticism about whether it would ever work and whether people would, would pay to, to subscribe to new channels when they already had uh, several channels to watch. I suppose the worry about it was that Sky would monopolise football on television uh, and therefore we wouldn't get to watch it on uh, match of the day or on the ITV equivalent. At the time the Premier League was forming, Sky was in a fairly parlous financial state. We'd been losing a lot of money, a couple of million quid a week, and we had a tiny little uh, viewing audience. Initially, uh, Rupert Murdoch's idea was that films would be the driver of that. You'd subscribe rather than go into the cinema and you'd get new movies. But when they launched, there wasn't much take-up. People weren't that interested. They realised that sport might be the way of doing it, if we could get into sport. Then I went looking to every sporting body in the UK to try and pick up rights that weren't being used. And obviously football was top of the list. Getting the Premier League became that pot of gold that we desperately needed. Bye. Football's new Premier League has struck a three hundred million pound deal, which means its matches will only be seen live on satellite TV. If fans wanted to watch the matches, they'd have to pay two hundred pounds for a dish and a monthly subscription on top. When Mr. Murdoch wrote the check to the Football League, everyone said, "Oh my God." Poor old Rupert lost at this time. He's paid too much money. The pound signs were ringing in the eyes of the football club chairman. It was transformational, the amount of money that was being offered by Sky. It was huge. So how much is he prepared to lose? I don't know. Whatever, whatever it takes.